What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back out here on the lake. Today we're in the kayak and we are out here to chase down some rowdy panfish. More specifically, the red-eared sunfish. We'll definitely take bluegill, we'll definitely take hybrids, we'll take any sort of sunfish because they are doing it. It is, it is crazy how things change so quickly out here on the lake. You know, last week I was out here looking for these fish didn't see a single one and you know just over the last couple of days they have like all just pushed right up on the bank i mean dirt shallow it's crazy how shallow these fish are but hey they're up there and we're gonna catch them so last time we were out here we were throwing a little mix of um jigs and worms i think today i am only throwing this little jig on this little acc crappie sticks it's my secret jig it's my secret jig guys can't The last time I was out here, I was mainly catching them on live bait, but today we are transitioning into throwing only the little secret jig right there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to put a lot of big red ear and bluegill in the kayak today. Uh, I've come prepared, I've got a cooler, I've got a nice chest back here with some ice. I've also got some bug spray because there are some, I mean some little demon gnats out here. Just They're already biting me. I haven't put any on yet, but they are swarming. You can probably see them swarming my head. They're biting my ears. They're getting inside my ear and biting me. And I just, I don't appreciate it. So I'm going to spray them down with some of that lemon eucalyptus stuff and hopefully it'll do the trick. But anyways, guys, we're going to hit a bunch of different spots today. We're going to try to find some new areas that are holding some fish. We're going to start right here. This has been a good spot for me over the years. But like I mentioned, guys, today's goal is very simple and that is to catch as many bluegill and red ear and hybrid sunfish as we possibly can. Um, we're going to hit a bunch of different spots today. We're going to try to find some new areas that have some bedding fish and spoiler alert, I think I may have found one right here. I'm seeing some massive swirlage. I don't know how many are there. I don't know how big they are. I don't even know if they'll bite or not, but we're gonna try to throw this little secret jig in front of their face and get them to, to munch it. But anyways, guys, if y'all are excited to tune into this episode, we would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments down below for good luck and if you love bluegill fishing. But with that being said, we're gonna cast a pier and see so if we can catch the fish. Let's go. Okay, so real quick before we get going, I'm gonna show you guys the kind of stuff I'm looking for. You see those bad boys right there? Those are all cypress knees and you can you can literally see these fish swirling out there see those guys those are probably red ear maybe bluegill but they're relating to this hard structure we got some cypress knees we've also got some sticks we've got some little stick ups down there so really i'm just looking for the hard structure and looking for hard bottom this is a pretty hard bottom right here but this is the site that we're going to start casting at with the jig hopefully catch something Got him, got him, stay on there, stay on there. Yeah, baby, there we go. Try to get a hold of them so y'all can see them. Beautiful colors on this male, I love the black fins they get. Let's see if we get one more from this spot and then we're gonna move on and try to find ourselves another hole. A little bit easier to fish because this one here is pretty difficult, honestly. There's a lot of sticks and a lot of grass, super shallow. Oh, but they are in there. Stay on, buddy. Feisty guy. There we go, another red ear. Good fish. I think we could find a spot that has some bigger ones too. These are all good keeper size, but we're looking for some a little bit larger. I got one, I got one, I got one. I was stuck in a tree and I had a fish. That's a big one. That's a big one if we can keep it hooked up. Oh yeah, another nice one. I love when you can lift these guys. Another big, beautiful red-eared sunfish on a little jig. My line was stuck in the tree and I couldn't tell if my bobber's getting pulled down or not. Another awesome fish. I love the way they fight in the skinny water. It's like they have nowhere to go, so they just start, they start going crazy. There's one more good cast in there. There he is. There we go. We're leaving on that one right there. That's a giant. I think it's a giant. He's going the other way. What is that? Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a good one to end on in this spot. That is a hammer. That is a big old red ear. We're going to put this one in the ice chest. For sure. It's peeing everywhere. That is a good one. I got an ice chest back here today. Ain't messing around with no stranger. Oh, big one, big one. 
big one, big one. There we go. That right there is another nice one. Another big old fat. Oh no, he got away. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Instantly. As soon as it hit the water, he was on it. Yes. Boom. Another good red ear right there. And hey, we're going to send that one back. There we go. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's another red ear, guys. Look at there. We just kind of turned the corner just a little bit. Literally just moved up just a little bit from where we were casting that to get another angle at this other little spot. I see some more swirling up here. And we got another little red ear. Got him. 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 This is incredible. Look at the space between my bobber and my jig. <laughs> I think that is just so crazy. I can literally see just little dark blobs up there swimming around. And he was all about it. Got him. Got him. That's a big one. That's a big daddy. Big daddy. Oh, come here. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that, my friends, is going to be another one for the cooler. That's the size I'm after. Just slightly larger than the one we just let go. It's a good looking fish. Got him. Got him. That looks nice. Oh, what happened there? Oh, he just got a little wrapped up. Hey, there's our first hybrid of the day, guys. We've been fishing for a while now. I'm surprised this is our first one. And that would honestly be another good one to put in the live well or the ice chest. Okay, so we just made a pretty drastic spot change. Uh, the spot where we were originally fishing, you know, there was a lot of fish up there, but the, I feel like those were all new fish. They had like really not that grave intention on biting my lure. They were really mainly just focusing on building nests and just messing around up there in the shallows. I just couldn't get that many to bite. So we've made a move back over here to what I like to call my super money juice fire hole. And um, this is about where I've caught uh, a good many over the last few days. Um, but I haven't really fished it as hard as I would have liked to. So we're gonna, we're gonna anchor up. We've already anchored up. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna see if there's any more fish in this spot. So the clouds have kind of came out a little bit. It's also a little bit windier over here. I think it's gonna make these fish bite. Cause I feel like when I first found these fish, they were kind of doing what the fish we were fishing for earlier were doing. They were kind of mainly just setting up, kind of getting, getting the spot all cleaned up, getting ready. So hopefully today they'll be ready to bite. And uh, these fish aren't going to be as lucky as a lot of those other ones. They're, they're going straight in the bucket. So, let's see if we can catch. Oh, ooh, I was about to say, are there any fish left here? I say, I haven't kept very many from this spot, but, you know, somebody could have just as easily rolled up in here and caught a bunch. Oh, I hit the tree. Don't do that. Oh, I guess not. Oh, my gosh, that's a giant. Okay, there's still some fish here in the juice fire money hole. That's a good one. Oh, it's a big hybrid. This spot's weird because it's got bluegills, red ears, and hybrids. And it's like they're all kind of existing in different spots. We got like hybrids over here, red ears right here, and bluegills right there. It's it's the craziest spot. They like this seawall. That's a big one. That is a big one. Got him. Big one. Oh gosh, big hybrid. Another big, thick hybrid. I mean, big and thick. <laughs> That's amazing. Big old hybrid. There we go, big one. Big one, stay on there. Stay on, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh, it's a red ear. It's a big red ear. 
Look at that big old thing. That is a big old red ear. The red ear, I guess, are right up on the bank. Put him in there. Stud. Oh, put it right back up on the bank. That's another big giant one. Another big giant red ear. Or hybrid. I think it's a red ear. Nope. Yep. Look how dark he is. You guys see how beautiful that fish is? Just dark. I love the dark fins and the red on their ear. It's just really pronounced this time of year. Cool. Okay, I was casting too far away from the bank. The red ears are right up on the bank, like they were in the other spot. Oh. Got these trees right here with a little low ceiling. Yeah. Oh. Did y'all see how fast that was? Ooh, another nasty hybrid. I said nasty, but I mean that in the best way. Beautiful fish. Good size one. Huh. How fast is that? Right up on the bank. Oh gosh. You just gotta be right up on the bank. It's so crazy. It's just it's just hard to comprehend. I think that's good. Yep. They can't even pull the bobber under, it's so shallow up there. That's another giant. That's a big one. Oh, another big hybrid. Aren't these fish cool, guys? I almost like the hybrids more than the pure red ear, but I think I like the red ear the most. We can lay them out here in a little bit, and I can show you, you know, clearly the differences between the three fish that we're catching up here. We haven't caught hardly any bluegill, though. That is nuts. Oh gosh, he's a fighter. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. It's a red ear. And a beautiful male. Surprised I haven't caught any females. I haven't caught a single female today, I don't think. Another nice, pretty male. I think I'm gonna send him back. He's definitely keeper sized. If I get crazy and start throwing them all in there, then all of a sudden I'm going to have like 40 to clean when I get home. Got him. That's another nice one. These fish are really fighting. They are angry. Oh, and they're big too. That's a big old red ear. Yes, they're all quality fish, guys. These fish don't get as big here as they do in some other parts of the country, but I mean, that is a stud. Like... Pretty much no matter where you're at, that's a fish that you want to catch. Anybody have fun catching that fish. Shoot. Oh gosh, got bit. is running always big another good one Woohoo! another good red here I think what happens this is what I think happens I, I catch one I think it does spook them a little bit but they they're really quick to return so that's why I'll make a few casts catch a couple they get spooked then don't catch any for a little while and then all of a sudden boom they start biting me in the same spot oh oh Oh, big daddy, way up there. Came real a little slow, but it's really kind of fast and I lost a couple. Real nice and easy. That's a big one. Oh goodness. That's a big one. That's what you're looking for, that's a donkey. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. That thing's bigger than my hand. The biggest ones are right up on the bank. How many times how many times am I gonna say right on the bank in this video? I need to slow down. Look at that thing. Big old red ear. I put my jig up in the grass on that one. Oh gosh. 
There we go. That fish saved me. That fish saved me. My line was stuck way up there in the top of the tree. The wind picked it up. And I was like, please bite it. And he did. He saved me. So I'm going to save him. Another nice red ear. I made a wild cast and honestly deserved to get hung up. Thankfully, that fish had my back. Okay, so I flipped y'all around this way. We're going to cast up here in front of me. I'd have y'all from this back angle, but the wind is blowing pretty hard this way. We'll probably swap it in just a second. But let's see if we can catch something up here. I think there's some fish swirling. They are swirling. They are swirling. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh no, he came off. Oh, dang, I don't know what that was. Oh, big one. Big one. Big one. Is that crappie? What's oh, a red ear. Yes. Yes. Boom. Another nice red ear. There we go. He came out. There we go. Another good big male red ear. Oh, big one. Big one. Big one. Stay on there. Woohoo. There we go. There's another nice red ear. Kind of bouncing around, gotta hit this other spot right here. Solid male red ear. Oh, another one, another one, another one. That one big fatty. Heck yeah, there's a nice one. That's bigger than the person we just caught in this spot. I named to the box. Oh, another one. I don't even know where he's at. He's over here on the right. That's a big one. Another big red ear. Just gorgeous fish. You can see the mud on his belly. Just from sitting there. Another big, beautiful fish. There we go. Another big one. Oh, gosh. That might be really big. Might be really big. Oh my gosh, that's a really big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, biggest of the day. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is a hammer. That is a giant one. I wonder how much he weighs. I'm gonna weigh him. I think I have my scale. I'm gonna weigh him. Okay, not quite a pound. <laughs> 0 0.74, three quarters of a pound. That's a big male. If this was a female and full of eggs, we would have like a one pound fish. That's a stud. That's a big old fish. Another one. Another big giant. Another big one. Another big one. Get up here, big dog. Let's go. There's some big old red ears right here in this spot. No! No! He's peeing. Look how shallow I am. Five inches. Oh my goodness, they are there. They are there. They are big and they are there. Just get him over the pads. Yes. <laughs> Another just hammer. These are bigger in this spot. The last spot they were good size, but these are 
definitely bigger quality fish. That's awesome. Let's send him back. Let's send him back. Oh, another one. Another one. Oh my gosh, these are big. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Flip in here. Oh my goodness. I mean, look how thick that thing is. That is what you want right there. That is what you want. Huge red ears. So as y'all just saw, I just pulled up here back to this spot. I checked this spot a few days ago. The fish really weren't quite doing it then. They were kind of, you know, starting to show themselves. But I pulled up today and they are, they are doing it, <laughs> doing it. They are biting, they are in a feeding mood. Hopefully we can catch a few more. But the, the nice thing about this spot is it's a lot easier to fish. I'm not having to do like really technical sketchy casts every time. And these fish are bigger, so it's a double whammy. So let's sling this old jig back up in there. See if we can get lucky. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. It's so fast. I got some lily pads in the way I gotta kind of navigate, but we're ripping through it. And that is another stud. Big, beautiful bluegill. Oh, they ain't no bluegill. Big, beautiful red ears awesome fish I'm also out of the wind over here too which is really nice I don't think that was a very good cast oh hmm I got bit though that's a better cast yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, please stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what a monster. Oh my gosh. What a monster right here. Straight up, that's a big male. I wanna catch a big female. I don't know where they're at. I have no idea where the females are at. But that is a monster male red ear. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Okay, this is gonna be the last fish that I keep out of this spot. I'm gonna keep this guy. I should have probably close to 30 in there, but we're gonna keep casting. We're gonna see if we can catch a monster. I mean this this I mean with this size fish that are hanging out there, we could easily catch one over a pound. If we just get a female that's still full of eggs, like that could be that could happen. It'd be awesome. Like a, a one pound red ear is a big one for this lake, so that'd be really cool. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. another stud, another stud. He weaved right through the melee pads for me. Good deal. There's another hand sized big old red ear. Awesome. Another good one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, quick release. Oh. It's amazing. That's like you can lift them. Little jig, big red ear. Oh gosh. Oh, he's small. He got caught in a lily pad. I thought he was a monster. Oh, it's a hybrid. Another hybrid guy. And you see those hybrids are just a lot darker. They have those big black ears. They have a little bit of red on them. But they just, you know, they look quite a bit different than the red ear. They're also a little more round. Wind's picking back up. 
Just let that thing drift right in front of that tree. Oh gosh, it's drifting right in front of us. Oh, oh, uh oh. That might be a bass. No, I ain't a bass, that's a red ear. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. They're all so big. Thick, healthy ones. Shaking my finger. I don't think it's past the barb. It might be. Oh gosh, is that past the barb? No. Whew. Whew. We almost got stabbed by the secret jig. Another one. I'm sure this is starting to get a little bit redundant, but. I mean, it's just every cast. Every cast, we're smacking them. Oh, oh gosh, that's a big one. That's a giant. Another giant right off the tree, guys. He's got a big old gash on his side. That's what happens to these fish. They get out here, they start making beds, and they get beat up. Oh, dropped him. Yeah. That was a perfect cast. That was like as perfect of a cast as you could get. Right up next to that tree. It went in there so silently. Did I already catch this fish? This fish looks really similar. He looks familiar to me. That's a big one. That's a good one to end on right there, guys. We have caught so many fish today. Caught some quality ones. This spot right here especially had some good ones. Um, we caught them all over the place too, and that's just a good sign. I mean, we didn't cover as much water as I anticipated, but that was just because we got on them pretty good. But I'm hopeful we'll be able to get back out here again really soon and uh, maybe track down some more fish, maybe revisit some of these beds, maybe find some new beds, hopefully find some bigger fish. But um, yeah, with that, we're gonna pack up our stuff. We're gonna get back to the house and we're gonna start cleaning all these fish and then we're gonna cook them, it's gonna be amazing.